In the Jhansi, Jalon and Hamirpur districts of the Mundelkhand region, the water has always been at immense depth. Rainfall is scanty, irregular and uncertain and wells are brewed at an expense which is prohibitive for irrigation purpose. People therefore had to migrate on any signs of upcoming drought. It was a revolutionary step to plan and construct this architectural marvel Dukwa Veer approximately 112 years ago to augment and timely regulate the water across river Betwa in the Jhansi district of Bundelkhand region of Uttar Pradesh through the year 1905 to 1909. This Veer was not constructed as a revenue project but as a welfare measure for drinking water availability, poverty alleviation, by enhanced irrigation facility for crops and reducing migration of people during the periods of droughts. The VIA not only led to a paradigm shift in the cultivation methodology but also greatly enhanced crop production of food grains in the entire region. Betwa River is a key tributary of River Yamuna in Ganga Basin having a vast catchment area of 8140 square miles from its origin at Bhopal to the Dukwa Veer. The catchment is exclusively monsoon fed in the wooded hilly country and cultivated land. Dukwa Veer is subsidiary storage for Paricha Veer. It provides water for the lone Betwa canal system, the lifeline of the region of taking from Paricha Veer for Jhansi, Jalon and Hamirpur. This design was way ahead of its time as such a massive structure without machinery was constructed in record time of just 5 years with efficacy that it is still functional and fulfilling its obligation for irrigation of the region through its large storage capacity. The masonry structure of 3,845 feet was constructed with a maximum height 50 feet with crest level 890 feet. We had storage capacity of 2,434 million cubic feet at crest level and additional 1,325 million cubic feet created with 383 falling shutter type gate of size 10 by 8 making total 3,759 million cubic feet with two cranes provided for lifting them after the flood to pass water to Paricha Veer, two upper sluice of size 10 by 10 and one lower sluice of size 9.5 by 7 that is 45 feet below the crest were constructed capable of discharging 8,841 cusics water sufficient to keep water level at crest while raising gate. The VIA was designed to pass maximum flood of 6,52,000 cusics with water column height 12.75 feet above the crest, elevation 902.75 feet. However, in the life history of 112 years of VIA, even maximum flood of 6,20,353 cusic was observed on 10th September 1983 with elevation 904 feet, highest flood level recorded. This flood caused damage to weir and causeway downstream of weir, this damage was repaired and structure regained its original shape. Dukwa weir provides for much needed water for irrigation in the region which had no such currently place weir earlier. It was because of this visionary perspective planning for next 200 years that now, after construction of Rajghat and Matatira dams, the Dukwa Veer feeds the water released to Betwa canal system and water utilization has increased from 6,003 million cubic feet to 41,590 million cubic feet as per current estimation. Now the water is also directed to state of Madhya Pradesh through Dathia Carrier Canal off taking from left bank to the tune of 18,066 million cubic feet in the current year. Now the water is being used for hydro project of 24 megawatts generating annually 17.82 million units. 
The Kwabia has gained further significance with time, now providing water to three districts of Madhya Pradesh and three districts of Uttar Pradesh. Through appropriate preservation, this weir can serve the purpose for decades to come. The weir is still very robust and has no sign of any decline. It has stood the test of time and has truly accomplished its goal. The efficacy and the significance of the same has only amplified with time, as this is one of the oldest, functional and an absolute necessary project for the region. It must be taken under the heritage umbrella as the masonry technique used here which is now getting obsolete once preserved properly will be a marvel to be witnessed by not only the next generations of water commissions, irrigation fraternity but also general people to admire the ancient and serviceable engineering spectacle.